from the artistic inspirations of Leonardo da Vinci to the somewhat less elegant designs of the early 20th century. The idea of powered flight straight up into the air and returning safely had long been a dream of aviation inventors. This dream continued into World War II. During this time, incredible and unprecedented advances in aviation innovation would be realized. One of those innovators was Frank Piasecki, the son of an immigrant Polish tailor, whose fascination with vertical flight started in high school. By 1940, Piasecki and other young engineers started the company that became Vertol Aircraft and eventually part of Boeing. Faced with the same wartime shortages affecting all Americans, Piasecki and his team found a way to build their flying machine. With an oil pump salvaged from a Packard automobile, a clutch bought from a Chevy dealer, a used outboard motor gearbox, and an airplane engine that they had to make work standing on end, they pulled together their first helicopter, the PV-2. Piasecki ended up piloting the PV-2's first flight by accident. The tether, an old clothesline his mother had tossed away, broke, and the PV-2 went airborne. Piasecki was able to land it safely. A few months later, Piasecki drove the PV-2 to Washington, D.C., where Navy officers were so impressed that they gave Piasecki and his company their first contract. The prototype was the first successful tandem rotor helicopter. That led to a series of tandems, including the Chinook. Beginning with a vision, Frank Piasecki and his team built not just the first tandem rotor helicopter, but a bigger and better way to fly.